Hey guys, here with Project How To, and as you already probably know, the point of me making those videos is to bring you some value, whether that is by sharing with you my workouts, giving you my healthy recipes, or like in today's case, I'm just gonna give you my recommendations on the fitness equipment that you may need if you want to be fit, healthy, if you want to get stronger, and so on. It's gonna be two categories, one is gonna be the expensive one, one is going to be the budget one. First we're going to start with the more expensive one. Now looking at the chart that I've just written down here, the more expensive one is about 12, 13 times more expensive. So yeah, it is a bit pricier. The most important thing is to be willing to invest the time. First, the time to do your own research. I may give you recommendations for regardless of what fitness equipment I may give you recommendations but that may not be the best for you so you need to do your own recommendations based on your budget based on the space that you have and based on your needs invest the time to research what is going to be the best diet for you that is where you definitely need to start the correct diet that is the few that is like in the car. If you put good fuel, the car is gonna go well. You need to invest the time after you've done the research to implement what you have found out that is gonna work best for you. The equipment is go not gonna do the job for you. That is why I'm not gonna recommend and I'm never gonna tell you that there is a magical equipment that you can for example stick on your tummy and it's gonna give you six pack. No, that is not gonna happen. Um, so yeah, you gotta invest the time into doing the work yourself, that is the truth. That more expensive category is definitely gonna help you get stronger, probably quicker and it's gonna keep you more motivated, but not necessarily it's gonna make you healthier. Let's go on to Amazon. Let's bring it up here. And we're gonna go to this thing oh no it didn't go correct we're gonna go here all right so my first recommendation is gonna be getting a barbell the barbell that we're gonna go for is the proper olympic bar which is the seven feet seven the seven feet olympic bar is 20 kilograms and that is the one that i would suggest you to go for so we've got the bar and it's going to be 159 pounds. Fantastic. Now, let's go to the next part, which is going to be... Obviously, we have a bar. Now we need to get a cage. The way that this cage is built, it definitely... Uh, it will definitely outlast the other recommendation that I'm about to give you you can regulate the different levels of where you're gonna leave the bar you can use it for squats you can use it let me see you can you can use it for squats you can use it for the bench press you can let the you can use it for pull-ups there is so many variations that you can do it's got handles up on top it looks very well built good quality it looks sturdy the only downside is the price, which is £1,249. It says that the retail price is £1,500, which I tend to believe because good quality cages, they go really expensive. I've seen cages for two, three, four, five thousand pounds which we're not going to be spending on a cage. No. If you didn't like this one, if the price is not for you, there is another cage that I saw on Amazon that looked how decent. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a good quality, but it's yeah, it is alright. I don't like those points here. I don't know if I can show them. Oh, these points, where is the magnifier? So I don't like these points, those connecting points. It doesn't seem very sturdy. So yeah, it is alright, but it's not the best. You can do pull-ups, which is good. You've got the bar on top, so you can do pull-ups. And 
it is much cheaper. That will be the benefit on this cage. Three times cheaper. Fantastic. We cannot have just a barbell. We we could. It's 20 kilograms, so we can do a good workout with 10, 20 kilograms bar. But we need to add some plates. So what I've written down here for the plates is two pairs, uh, five kilograms, one pair, ten kilograms, two pairs, twenty kilograms. That is all in total, eighty kilograms plus the bar, which is twenty, one hundred kilograms. I think that is a good weight. Now. Obviously, if you want to go for more, just get more. That is my recommendation. Price-wise, we've got them for 140, 120 and 200 pounds. So let's just have a look at those. These are the ones that I found to be on a good price, not too expensive. And have a look at the design. They're not the all metal ones. These are the rubber coated one but they are still good quality. We did the barbell, we put the weights and the next thing that we're gonna do is get some dumbbells. The dumbbells that I think are... In my case, the weights that I'm using with the dumbbells, I've got two sets. One set of 10 kilograms and one set of 20 kilograms. Actually, no, mine are 17 and a half or 18 and a half. The recommendation that I'm gonna give you is one pair of 10 kilogram and one pair of 20 kilograms which is 90 pounds the 10 kg and 190 pounds for the 20 kg pair let's have a look at them on Amazon here they are so this brand offered the best price at the time uh, when I was recording this video and it is body rip rubber and case hexagonal dumbbells. These ones, the reason for opting for those ones is that they tend to be much stronger than the one that you screw on, and especially the plastic one, uh, plastic weights. Fantastic! Another thing that I found to be very, very useful and makes my work, workouts much easier is to have the fixed dumbbells the fixed barbells though and I have the seven and a half kg I think 17 and a half and 35 kg now the ones that I'm gonna recommend now they didn't have the barbells that I did so I've written down 30 kg 15 kg and 10 kg if I remember correctly yes so 10 15 and 30 kg so each one is, the, the smallest one is 62, 63 pounds, the bigger one is 78 and the biggest one is 150 pounds. So yeah, they're not cheap but they definitely make the workouts much easier. When you have the variety of weights, obviously it makes it easier. They're not compulsory, you don't need to have them, but it makes it easier. Let me see if you're following. We've got the cage, we've got the dumbbells, we've got the barbell, we've got the plates, we've got everything, but we cannot do much if we don't have the bench. So, the next thing that we're gonna get to is a bench. The one that I have opted for, because I'm incredibly happy from mine, is the body solid heavy duty flat incline decline bench. This one, cost 460 euro so it is not the cheapest bench but it definitely doesn't lack quality so you can go for this one and you're not going to be disappointed if you want a cheaper but maybe not as good bench you can go for this Amazon was it on Amazon no it was on very this website I haven't actually ordered anything from here but that bench is almost half the price and it seems quite sturdy. Now I can not tell you if the quality of that bench is good. So looking at the metal parts, it does look quite sturdy. It says that it can support up to 362 kilograms. So yeah, it does sound good quality and being cheaper, it's a good alternative. Still, I will stick to the body solid bench. 
Next thing that I tend to use quite a lot is my dip station. So for that, let's go back to Amazon. Now, you've got this dip station here. TNP, it is a good brand. My fixed barbells, they're that brand and I'm very happy with it. So I can assume that that brand makes good quality products. And I didn't want to go crazy expensive on a dip station. It has long feet at the bottom, that means it's not gonna tip over, which is very important. And that is it for the dip station. Very important part of the workout is to train our cardiovascular system. And I think the best ones are the rowing machines because you can get a lot of work done on a rowing machine. You have more of your body parts included when you're doing it. I would say that the least effective one are the ones that you're sitting down and pedaling that is not the best thing to go for if you are looking for something to improve your cardiovascular system obviously we're trying now we're trying to build a home gym and the reason for me recommending exactly this rowing machine is because it can be stored uh, easier it's not the best one if i had to go for the best one it will be the concept 2 rowing machine let me just quickly google it okay so concept 2 rowing machine is the one that i would go for i know these ones are very good quality unfortunately it is a little bit more expensive so this rowing machine costs 945 pounds so it is a bit more expensive than the one that i'm recommending now and at the moment this machine that I'm recommending in that rowing machine, more known home rowing machine, is 599 pounds. You can apply a 100 pound voucher, which is gonna bring the price from 699 to 599. The next recommendation that I'm gonna make is a fitness tracker. So this tracker is like a smartwatch. I bet probably you've already got it, so maybe you don't have to invest into that but it is a good way to keep track on your steps. To be honest, that's the only thing that I use it for because for the other things, they're very inaccurate. Uh, trying to get your calories, the watch is definitely not gonna be able to tell you how many calories you need. They're not gonna be able to tell you an exact daily calorie expenditure. So yeah, take, take it just to track your steps, keep the time, Time your workouts, as that is very important. Timing your workouts. Don't just spend too much time resting, as that is gonna make your workouts a little bit ineffective. The expensive category is truly expensive. 3,800, if I'm correct, if my math is correct, that would be 3,800 with the more expensive one. This is how much it's gonna roughly cost you if you wanted to build your expensive home gym, about 3,800. Please, you're gonna know, you're gonna be able to train every part from your body and it's gonna cost you quite a bit. Now, if you don't wanna spend that much, as I said at the beginning, the most important thing is to just invest some time and there are so many workouts that you can do. I have just put like about 50 or 60 videos with different workouts and also some healthy recipes which are going to be helping you to get those results that you're looking for. Good, now it's time to do the budget version of our gym. And the good thing is that this is the Black Friday week, so we may be able to get some better prices on Amazon. We're gonna start with something that I actually like doing a lot and that is my ab workouts. When I do my ab workouts, I do also train with an ab roller. Now, the one that I'm gonna give you here is the type of ab roller that I have and I'm very happy with it, so that is the reason to recommend you this roller. This one is 9.95, it's one pound less and we're doing a budget version, every pound that we can knock off it counts, 
so we're going for this ab roller specifically. The next thing that we're gonna do is push up stance. These are the push up blocks, push up stance, you can call them any way you want. The reason for is not everyone can flex their wrist to a level where they're gonna be comfortable doing push ups, so these ones they definitely help. Also, you can use them for other stuff. You can do L sits, these are very, very good for your abs. You can try them. I have, as I said before, I have done quite a few workouts, especially on abs. You can check them out, and I'm doing also L sits, and you're gonna see me actually struggling quite a lot on those with the with the push-up stance you can elevate yourself from the floor and that is gonna make executing the L sits easier so that is another recommendation now these ones they cost 19 pounds the reason for me going for those is because they have very sturdy base and they seem to be a good quality and the next thing that we're gonna go for is some grip trainers probably you've seen those the one that you're squeezing and here we've got also trainers for the fingers so you can isolate different fingers to train, uh, to train your strength of the grip and you've got that awkward that thing looks like an avocado but I doubt that they're gonna send us an avocado and you've got this thing that it looks quite weird again for the grip to squeeze and another one so you've got a good set here you've got five pieces and they have also been reduced to only eight pounds so yeah you get a lot for only eight pounds in some places they're gonna send you only the grip trainer the one this one with the hands oh no it changed so this one you on most of the places you're gonna get just this one for seven eight pounds I think that's actually how much I spent on my grip trainer so this is a good deal you, you're getting just more than one equipment for a good price now this is I would say optional the reason for me choosing that KLV resistant band set 19 pieces is because they are normally 18 pounds and you can apply a voucher 50% voucher and you can get all these resistant bands only for nine pounds and you're getting quite few resistant bands with different weight so you can definitely definitely purchase those then the next one is probably my favorite type of resistant bands and when we're at home and we're trying to do a budget gym the resistant bands are probably going to be our best friends and these ones here the, they call them also pull-up assistant bands you've got different weights so the red one uh, it's the heaviest one so the, re the red one is the strongest one then you've got the green, the black and the blue you also get different handles you've got the anchor point you've got also foam that is gonna what do they call it band guard so yeah you are getting a good set and for 24.39 that is a quite a good price normally you are looking about about 10 pounds per band and here you're getting four for 24 pounds Ooh, that is an important part from the workout because if you don't have that you're gonna be kind of limited you're not gonna be able to do as many exercises as if you had it and that is a yoga mat one thing I'm gonna tell you please 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 don't spend 50 60 70 pounds on a yoga mat they all do the same job and it's no point to spend that much they are yoga mats that you can find for 10 pounds, 8 pounds and this one specifically is 18 pounds, it's a little bit more expensive the reason for, I was a little bit picky with this one I wanted to have the lines in the middle I quite like it when it, it has those center lines 
it does help for some of the exercises to align your body. So this one was the cheapest I was able to find with center lines. You may be able to find others that are cheaper and it still has a center line. I was not, so I went for this one. The other ones that had the center line, they were like 30 pounds, 60 pounds, just definitely not amount that I'm gonna pay. Another thing to bear in mind when you're choosing a yoga mat, I wouldn't go for less than 0.6 millimeters of thickness. Now we've got different colors, we've got green, we've got black, oh that black one is a good one, but it's 24 pounds so we're not gonna go for that one. The options that you've got is a green and blue. Let's see my next recommendation, what we've written down here, and that is a pull-up bar. Training your back is equally as important as training every other muscle group. When you're at home, a pull-up bar is a very good thing, the one that you can hook up on the door frame. This one, it doesn't require any drilling and it's not the one that you screw onto the door. This one I actually had very painful experience when I once tried to pull myself but the bar came down, I had my legs bent and I fell down on my knees. That was not something that you want to experience, it's not pleasant. Now this bar, it just hooks up onto the door frame and it is quite sturdy. I, I have used that type of bar and it is good quality. This one can hold up to 300 pounds. So it is going to be quite sturdy and it is not that expensive, it's only 16, 16 pounds. So I'm going to put that on. You can also do your leg lifts for your abs workout, just make sure you stand on the correct side. And let's see what is going to be the next recommendation for our budget home gym. Let's move on to the next one. And that is a dip station. This one dip bar, dip station. This one looks quite sturdy and it was good price. So 43 pounds is a good price. It doesn't take... Um, it, the, the only issue with this one is that I think it's gonna be a little bit too big so you may have to be dismantling it every time you're using it. It's Amazon Basics Dip Fitness Bar. Not much to say about it. It's 43, 44 pounds and that is the dip station. Now I'm about to give you my last recommendation and that would be a machine that is going to be very important. It is going to be the most expensive part from building up our home gym and actually it is completely optional. You can do that, you can train what that machine is going to train without having this machine, if that makes sense. And that is something to train our cardiovascular system. It is, as I mentioned in the previous suggestion, in the expensive category of the building a home gym, we need to train our cardiovascular system because that is the most important part of us being healthy. And I'm going to recommend getting an elliptical machine. This is probably one of the best ways that you can train your cardiovascular system whilst you're at home if you don't want to spend too much money on a rowing machine. And when you're going for the budget version, the less moving components you've got, the better it is. So that's why I'm not recommending treadmills. I'm not recommending um, other more complicated machines. Also, I said I'm not going to recommend the ones that you're sat down on the chair. They may be cheaper, but we're looking also for the effectiveness of those machines. So, I'm going to recommend that elliptical machine. It was one of the cheapest that I was able to find and it seemed to be a good quality. It's not cheap when we're building a home gym, but it is still affordable. My alternative is going to be just going out and do your walk. Walking, it's amazing. That is a way to train your cardiovascular system and that is very important. Just go out, do a brisk one hour, brisk one hour walk and it will definitely improve your cardiovascular system if you do it regularly. Everything that you do regularly is going to have an impact. Whether that is positive or negative depends on what you're doing regularly. With having the cross trainer, the electrical cross trainer included, the home gym 
came up to 287 pounds and I think that is something that you can definitely afford and it is worth uh, spending on if you know that it's gonna improve your health. If we don't have the home, uh, if we don't have the electrical cross trainer the price is gonna go much lower, we're gonna go below 100 pounds and I cannot end this video without promoting the workouts that I have done and I have recorded and uploaded on this channel so up here I'm gonna have a playlist that you can click onto and see different workouts for different level of preparedness and train only with your body weight if you don't want to spend any money and the main thing is to of course follow a healthy balanced diet Okay, we are done with today's video. I hope you enjoyed the recommendations that I gave you. I'm gonna have links to all of them on the description box below. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.